Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today I'm doing, I guess, a full playthrough of Newsboys here published by Sashi and Sashi. And I brought this game back from Essen and it's loosely hmm, tied around the Newsboys strike in the uh, late 1800s or 1899, I believe, against Pulitzer and Hearst of the New York World and I think the New York Journal also. There was a movie and now there is a musical. The movie was with Christian Bale and Bill Pullman and I honestly <laughs> liked the movie back in the day. I was much younger then and it's still <laughs> hilarious to see young Christian Bale and Batman in, yeah, singing songs in, in that movie. The mechanic around this strike is only also very loosely integrated into the game mechanic here but at least it's part of it and it's ultimately a role flip and write and um, it also comes with a solo mode and that's basically what I'm going to showcase to you and before I get started I want to say again thank you to all of my patrons and channel members and I will give this copy of the game to one lucky winner either a patron or a channel member and these guys already know um, what they need to do in order to win a copy. So if you want to, if you need this last little incentive to join me on Patreon or here on YouTube, then maybe this is it and you may want to consider joining me and yeah, supporting my little channel here. So I will set it up, shouldn't take very long actually, and then I think we are getting started right off the bat. Okay, and here we are. The only real thing that you have to do is to pick one of these yeah, player boards here. I think there are four of those and they are all slightly different in respect to how those districts are being laid out here. You have to use the solo side here. Though on the other side, you have the normal multiplayer side. Then you have to somewhat stage this yeah, new stack here to some extent. It's really not a lot in the multiplayer game. The only thing you do is to put the end game card um, pretty Pretty much at the bottom of the deck not really I think it's the second to last card in the deck in the solo mode you are sim putting in some of these time cards and these time cards will then trigger let's say some events in the game kind of simulating the advancements of, of other players basically you are not really competing against the AI the only thing that you do care about at the end of the game is this ranking here so it's kind of a beat your own score which is not my cup of tea I really prefer an actual challenge so I want the feeling of yeah, I don't know winning or losing in this case yeah we could say we want to make it to the promising new spoil um, I haven't played the solo mode before I only played the multiplayer mode a couple of times actually it's really a very enjoyable game the solo mode seems to work fine again there is not a lot that you have to change it's as usual this kind of role flip and rides are very often times very let's say multiplayer solo games to some extent it's really no different here yes there are some achievements which you want to achieve before the others because you might get some more points out of this and that's more or less the same thing here that's what the AI is simulating here is driving the game forward so that you want to make sure getting let's say the better bonuses when you're achieving something but that's something I'm going to explain as we go so that's basically it in respect to the rules of course the rules come in English and they come in Japanese no surprise here so I guess we can get started the first thing that we are doing is to flip the topmost card here it shows a symbol but we will ignore this symbol here we will flip over this card oh, wow that is quite interesting so these are the three symbols we have available for this round but of course we are also rolling our dice in a multiplayer game everyone rolls their um, three dice and that's something I do prefer over other roll and write so not every player has their own set of, set of dice available to them and you cannot really follow a leader here so there is still some let's call it randomness but of course you can mitigate the randomness without any problem so there's not, not too, too luck basically it's rolling dice but you can usually do stuff with it so we are rolling rolling those dice okay interesting and basically the combination of these symbols that you are seeing is what we have if I would play against another player they would have their three dice and their three dice plus these three symbols would be then their pool of symbols available to, to them or to us I think you get the idea so these three symbols they are common ground let's put it like this they are in a pool everyone can use those no one is taking things away but now I have to make a choice which symbols I'm going for and I can only pick one 
symbol type. So I can say I want this, I think, factory ones here, which means I get four green symbols, which is quite nice, actually, because I will immediately get a bonus out of this. Now, this was really a perfect roll and a perfect flip because we can completely fill out an entire district. This is great in, in many ways, quite honestly. So first of all, um, when you are starting to yeah, cross out sections, you have to place those new crosses against other crosses. Of course, we have all one cross here at the center of the board. This is from where we are starting to delivering, selling our newspapers, right? So, and because we have the green symbols here, we have four of those. Um, I think we are going this way. And there is, I think there are two rules which are now important. First of all, uh, or maybe three rules. First of all, you cannot spill over into other districts. So whatever symbols you're using, let's say there would be another green here, I could not spill over into another district. I have to focus all of these into one district. Second, I can only fill this uh, in a district, this symbol um, space out if that's the last. So let's say I would have rolled three of these green symbols. I would not be allowed to do one, two, three. I would have to do one, two, three. And then maybe in another turn, I would have been allowed to fill up this space. This will give me two bonuses in this case. I will get a, bon a dollar, which is important because we want to get paid and we are also striking here to some extent. And we will have three payouts throughout the game. And in the solo game, you always have three payouts. And we are also getting, um, let's say, a symbol bonus from, from that space, which will help me getting some, some pretty good victory points at the end of the game. So long story short, we are going this way. One, two, three. And again, this is the last one. Amazing job. We have completed our first district. Of course, we have a dollar space, which means we can circle this first dollar space here. So we have generated some income and we really want some good amount of income. But income isn't worth anything without also increasing our strike gauge here or the strike meter here because right now the maximum that we can earn after a payout we have a payout when this is a star so basically you can, you can see it here down here we'll have a payout down here we will have a payout and at the end of the game we will have another payout but again in this case mm, we want to increase also the gauge meter because right now it's zero if, if we don't bring up this one here it's kind of a balancing thing we are not getting anything of the but i will explain this to you when we get there. So then, as I said, we have completed this green district, which also allows us to circle this green district here. Amazing. If we do this four more times, we will score three points at the end of the game. Easy as that, right? And then there is another bonus because we have completed a district with the exact same amount of dice that we needed in order to do that. Let's say we would have five symbols here. Then the, let's say the last symbol wouldn't have been, we wouldn't have been able to put it in here. It would be lost and and it would, was also a spill over, so we were not efficient enough. Let's put it like this. But because in this scenario we exactly rolled and flipped four symbols, this was exactly enough to complete this district here. We are getting a referral bonus, and the referral bonus we can now basically cross out any one other thing. We still have to follow some of the rules, so we cannot go down here, for example. We still have to place them adjacent. But with these, we can also drive up our strike meter, and I think that's what we are going to do. So with our referral bonus, we will basically do this. We need two more in order to score any points from the payouts. Right now we are at zero here. We have one dollar, which is not bad, uh, but we don't have any strikes. So we have no leverage over those news companies here. Um, which we need to get in order to really get paid out. But that's basically already the end of the turn. Um, I'm talking way too much, but I have to explain you the rules as I go. But then we are moving into the next round of the game. Okay, we have two blue and one green. Let's roll those dice. Let's see what we get. Okay, these are mm, also green symbols. Yeah, that's now, that's now a thing. Um, what do we do with that? Um, the wild card is basically a wild card, but the wild card cannot be any of the symbols that we have rolled or flipped. So this could be yellow or could be red, for example. I would have taken it if this would have been the last thing I would be crossing out. And I already forgot something actually as part of the solo experience. Good that I caught this right after the first one. I just remember this because we need to take to look at this table down here. So before the game actually started, we should have rolled one of these dice. Okay, and this is 
basically the role for the solo game in there. So this only tells us what happens if we are flipping over a time card. After the 12th card here, we will reveal a time card, by the way. And this tells us that um, the AI, let's put it like this, where we'll take away the bonus for the sector C down here, for example. We have already intuitively worked towards it, so this is good. Then with the next time card, he would be doing sector B. And then last but not least, he would be doing sector A. So this thing up here, for example, and the only thing that it does, it takes away the, the bigger bonus. So whoever goes in first in, in C or completes this sector down here, the C1 here, will score the seven points. Everyone else will score the five points. And this is, I think, somewhat similar to Normal or Encore, I believe is the English title. So this, this mechanic definitely reminded me of that. But still, uh, so we know what we have to do. Uh, we know when this time card will appear. So mm, it should be in our best interest working our way down here. The problem is there is not an awful lot. The only thing, yeah, maybe those two blue, um, because this will also give us a sector. We will get a referral bonus. I think that's perfect. So we will get, though at least we don't need this die here. We will take the two blue ones. Uh, we will take this sector here. We are completing it. Awesome. We will also collect this one. And yes, you guessed it right there. Later on, there will also be some bonuses for um, column bonuses, not for the first column, but for the second and third and, and the fourth column here. So also helping you to, in some regard. Because we have exactly completed the sector with the exact amount of icons we needed, so there was no leftover icons in this case. And again, I get the referral bonus. And hmm, in this case, I may want to consider how we could do this. Or we could simply say, mm, let's do something like this. Again, we can take any sector that is adjacent to our sectors because I think it's more likely to roll three of these umbra brown symbols than four, for example. Again, this could help us. And getting these referrals is huge. And you can also chain react those um, referrals. So let's say I would gain a referral and with this cross, I would be able to exactly complete another sector or another district. I would gain another referral bonus and so on. So this can be pretty huge. But that's already the end of the turn again. And every now and then I have to do another take just to make sure tech is holding up. So we are flipping our next card. So this is a brown one and two greens, which is good. So we have unlocked the two green. Uh, we can now reach the greens, which is great. Um, okay, that's a red and two brown. Hmm. All the two green, the, neither of those are particularly great, actually. So this is now the first time we haven't rolled particularly well. But of course, we can also simply ignore um, this side. We can directly go this way. So there is another brown one here. I think we are going that way. So we are doing this and that. This gives us this. It was exactly enough. So we're getting another referral bonus. And let's do this again, actually, because we want to continue here. We want definitely to take things away from um, the AI player, but mm, it's really a challenge. Again, after 12 cards, he will score this sector here. So I'm really not sure if we will be able to make it or not, but let's see about that. So we are flipping, it's another brown, okay. Ah, that was not good enough. I was really hoping for another brown in this case. So this was really a crappy roll because we have all the symbols. Yep, these are all the five symbols and nothing really helps us here. We can't bundle the wildcard to anything because every other symbol is out. So we can't use this one here. This is, isn't great. Mm, we still might want to consider going down this way here, for example, because this would also allow us with a referral bonus to do something else. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I will take the yellow one in this case. We'll do this. This doesn't give us anything right away, but yeah, these rolls happen. And then, yeah, we are already moving into the next one. It's really an ultra quick game, of course, as you can see. Uh, another brown, why not? So either, yeah, I think another one brown on this die would be huge. And there is one brown. Oh, it's so cool. The dice gods love me today. So that's, that's perfect. First of all, we will take the two browns, one, and one and one, we will get a dollar for that. So that's that's really huge. Um, then we will also, of course, circle the next brown sector here. Nicely done. And then we get the referral bonus because again, these were, were exactly enough. We will take the referral bonus down here. This will give us a yellow one. 
And now we get another referral bonus because we exactly um, crossed out the last symbol here. Mm, and I think with this last referral bonus, I will go for the strike meter down there. And that's basically our turn. I still don't think we will make it. Maybe I really should have focused on the second district rather on the first one. But yeah, I'm feeling lucky today. Let's see how things go. So what do we need? Two green would be great. Some more red. We need yellow. I mean, we are doing not, not bad action. So it's, it's really not bad. But that was another pretty crappy roll, actually. Mm. We have two green. I think I will go for the two green. Again, I can't use um, the symbol down here, but I still think it's worth it. So if we are completing something, we could then also get, let's say, a chain reaction in respect to those referrals. But I think that's already it. Red is good. So one more red would be perfect. Ah, there's no red. Are you kidding me? Hmm, what are we doing? Well, we have two, two tasty things to do, actually. I guess I will go for pink, for the two pink, because if I complete this, I can complete this, and from there I can do something else. I think this might work out to be okay. Let's see about that. Next round. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like two wild cards here, but mm, let's see. Okay, we have three wild cards. With three wild cards, I could go for the three. I think that's perfect. Oh, okay, that's really good. So one, two, we get the third wild card down here. We didn't have any yellow, that's why we could use that. So we have completed the yellow. We got another dollar. And then we are getting a referral. We are doing the first referral here. This gives us another dollar. This gives us another pink one. Then from this, we get another re referral. The referral completed a district. So we are allowed to move in here. This gives us another green one. Amazing. And because of that, we get another one. And I think in this case, we will totally go for the strike meter here. So now we have reached um, the first stage. So we can start scoring some actual points. So the amount of dollars tells us how many points we can score at the max after a payout but it's capped by the amount of let's say little flags here or little, little signposts here for the strike meter so right now we have four income that's great but because we didn't negotiate hard enough with our strike we can only score one point out of this right now but yeah i definitely take that i think this worked out to be okay and yes of course we have completed this sector here that's amazing so this is basically done so we will take the seven points. So we do not really care about this one. So now we will continue focusing towards B up there. Um, awesome. I mean, that that's really amazing. This is really great so far. And I really do hope it makes sense. Mm, and honestly, I think it's, it's quite addictive. I didn't flip the card, of course. Um, cheating here. Uh, that's, and again, another not so great one. Mm, no, the pink doesn't help me necessarily because pink doesn't go in here. I would love to have some green or some blue. What can we do? No, there's only one wild card. So I guess in this case, I will move up. Yeah, I think I will move up because I know he is also going to score the A basically at his last thing so i think it's these three that he's going to finish actually that's something i need to focus on okay 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 on the other hand mm, wait a second on the other hand i could also say because he's not scoring d I could simply go down there because no one is taking this away from me right so why should i always go after him no let's not do that let's go with the two down here and this can also help me with a referral right yeah yeah let's do that sorry for the taxi backsies but yeah i'm on my own no one can stop me again i forgot to flip the card mm -hmm. what do we have what do we have so we have two those two green maybe we get the two blue here in two green would also work doesn't really matter too much. I think I want a blue actually because again I want these columns here so I need blue. Uh, it's basically both blue and blue and red. No it's blue and red. So in this case I will go for the two blue then. Yes let's do that for sure. The thing is whoever is triggering this will trigger a pair. It's either the AI player through his um, I think time card or I do this and then I need to be ready actually. So that's okay. Mm, that's, that's problematic. Maybe I don't want to rush things because I want some more um, 
strike points here before I get there. So maybe that's what I should be doing instead of moving there or I go with the green. Let's go with the green. Let's go with the green one and one because again, filling out this one here will also score me some points, right? Yeah, yeah let's do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, ooh, two red, pink or whatever. Mm, two green and two red. Yeah, that wasn't great. I was really hoping for maybe another red or so because then I could comp directly go to the second stage of the strike meter here, right? Uh, but I think the two green are still fine. So I will do this, I will do this. This gives me another dollar. So we have five dollars. We get a referral. We also completed the green one here. We get a referral. And yeah, what I think let's... Hmm. No, of course, we will go here for the referral. This go gives me this. Oh, I can't really do the blue one now. That's a problem. Unless I'm really getting something. So I get another um, referral. And I think now I need to... Hmm. Oh, we do this. Let's do this, actually. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really a quite thinky game, actually. Two more green. Uh, green is okay, I guess. Green is okay. Ah, why can't I roll some more stuff? Oh, sorry. Mm, before I rolled, I should have done this. I really didn't pay attention. This is the first time card. I think the first time card doesn't do anything right now. So what will happen is um, we are crossing out this. So he would now complete C, but because we already have claimed the high score reward, we can basically ignore this. The next one will come, I believe, after four cards. So much quicker now. So we definitely have to drive up our um, strike meter in order to score some points. So let's take the timing card out. But this is now actually the result. So we have still not, not improved. If this would have been another green. This would be amazing. We're simply removing the time card and whatever we are exposing here, that's the symbols we have. So we are not redrawing or so. And once we are doing through the stack, the game is over. Maybe I should have mentioned that. So what are we going to do with that? Ah, can we get something completed? Not really, because then I would gain the referral and so this would be great. So I think I really need to continue on the strike. So I will simply use two of these symbols, doesn't matter which one, to directly strike out the strike meter. That's something that you can also do. Either mark them out here, mark them out there. Here you never get any referral bonuses. So that's kind of the downer, of course. But still, we have to do that. We want to score some points. That is important, actually. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. Some more red. Now red, I don't know. Huh. Okay, still not great. Too yellow or too red? Neither of those are particularly great. I think I will continue. Wait a second. Next one, he will do B. Um, I'm pretty sure we will not score the high points for B. I think that ship has sailed. So we will do two symbols on the strike bar here. So two more and we are at three points, which we could gain out of this. I think this is definitely worth it. Then let's continue another yellow. Let's roll those. Oh, that's not great. That is not great. I need to make some progress. Again, the next time we will do a scoring. So I want, yeah, let's, we need to do that. So I will take two more symbols to do this and that. So now we will get three points out of this at least. And maybe I will still gain something. Maybe I can still, no, I don't need another dollar right now. I think not. So let's, that's that. And I think the next card we are revealing should be the time card already, right? If I count it correctly, but oof. again, if I would have rolled three symbols, I would continue now. But now uh, let's not do that. And by the way, in the solo mode, that's also something that you don't do in the multiplayer mode. At the end of the game, you also look um, basically which strike symbols you haven't completed. Because if we are not making it to four, we will lose eight points. If we are making it into this sector, we will do at least... Uh, only lose six points and so on. So in order to not lose any points, we need to bring the bar to seven. Again, if we are getting other points, then I don't know if that's worth it or not. But one thing I forgot, of course, mm, 
if I don't do the blue here, I will also not gain the high points here because if he's triggering that. Okay, that's something I completely missed, actually. That is terrible. So if he's scoring the payout, um, this means um, virtually he has completed the second column here, which would then mean he would gain the three points or the solo AI player. I would only get the one point. So that's already... Uh, that's a bummer. But I think, again, the next one is actually the time card. I'm, I really should have count. I will not reveal the next card, of course. I'm not going to cheat. So I guess we are... I will use the question mark for this. Maybe we can win that, but I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Now we get the two blues. Are you kidding me? So the next time card is revealed, which means this one is triggered. So the B bonus, the high one is already. So we can't no longer claim it. That's a problem. Then we are triggering the star payout here, which means the high bonus here has also been taken, right? So we can only score one point from that. And then we are doing the payout. So we are counting our dollars. That's a five. So we have five dollars income. Um, that's the maximum amount of points we can score. But uh, basically, we can only really score the, the, the signpost here, which is a three. And again, this can also be higher than the five. So let's say we would all the way up here to six. The highest amount we could put down here is then only a five. But in this case, it's three point, which is quite all right for the very first payout, actually. Okay, but now we have to roll. I'm not really doing particularly well. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Three of those brown. No, I think we take the two blue, right? I think that's what we need to do. One and one. So we are getting another dollar, which is great. We are getting the blue. Mm. Yeah, now we get it. So we get one point here. Hooray. Still better than nothing. And then we get a ref referral and I think with the referral we are going for this one here which is giving us this we're getting another referral and I think with another referral we might want again I want to win this one here right um hmm. but I also want the strike meter to go up I think but with only one we want this bonus from this sector right from this district or from yeah from the region so maybe let's do something like, what do we need? Brown, blue, yeah, let's go with this one here for now. Though that's our last referral from this turn. Really hoping I'm not missing anything. Let's reveal the next card. Let's roll those dice. Mm, three blues, hmm, hmm, or two brown. Yeah, let's take the three blues actually to do one, two, three so the next time we will at least score four points from this payout which is <laughs> at least something definitely a little bit better let's put it like this let's flip the next card mm -hmm. we already have two brown two more browns would be great actually to roll but yeah we are not lucky here we don't have two blues either so that was a pretty let's put it suboptimal roll so i guess we are going for the two green here one and one because this gives us this direction down here no we could go there anyway no i think that's not a problem um but that's it no nope, that's already it no referrals what i'm not doing good i'm not doing good here two more yellow yeah now we don't want to roll any yellow actually okay or two brown or any one of those again i can still go for the two yellow but we are not getting any referrals out of this still this might be all right and the two brown doesn't give us anything we don't have two blue so okay i will take the three yellow um we are forfeiting the last one unfortunately we are completing this we are getting another dollar which is definitely not terrible but again because we have had a spillover we're not efficient enough we brought newspapers back home which was i think part of the strike actually they were supposed i think they were supposed to pay for the mm, newspapers that were weren't able to sell and i think this was one of the outcomes from this strike that um the, these two new yorkers mag um, newspapers then decided to say um yeah we will reimburse you don't have to pay for any leftover newspapers basically at least that's my understanding yeah we have another time card here of course and i think the next time card is after six so the game is really moving ultra quick um 
yeah, this is the third one and we don't have another time card. That's that's everything that happened. So he will score this, but we, ah, no, sorry, oops, <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Ah. And when you wipe them out when they're not dry, it's difficult. So we can't no longer claim this one. Mm, we are doing another payout. So again, we will have to cross out this. But I think I didn't pay enough attention here. That's my problem. Um, and then we are doing another payout, which is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in theory. But yeah, only, oh, we have four points. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. No, I think that is okay. That is actually, so we get seven points out of here. We have some points here. We will score some more points. So I think overall it's not too terrible, but yeah, I was really hoping for something more here. But now we have three yellow um, and we still, I think it didn't roll, right? Hopefully I'm not cheating here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think in this case we will most likely go for two green, uh, three green down here for these. Um, yeah, I think let's do that. So that's that. We get another dollar. Cool. Um, and uh, we have another green. So it's only one more green here. We need to reach that because that's another three points. That is huge. We get a referral. What do we do with the referral? Referral now. Mm, I think with the referral we are going for this because then with the next referral we could then complete this one. I think you get the idea, right? But we will no longer see any time cards. We will only see an end card, and the end card we know when it's coming. It's again, it's the second uh, to last card um, on this deck here. Yeah. Okay. Mm, three brown. Why can't this be four brown? We could go for the G blue here, um, but I want uh, this. This is really a waste. So I know I think three brown is okay. I see that now. One, two, and three. We are coming to the last green, which is great. And we get another dollar. We need strike meter. And we get one referral, which we will, of course, put down here. This, no, it's not completed. Oh, yeah, it was completed, right? We have one, two, three brown. Yes, of course. So this is complete. So we are scoring the two points at the end of the game. That is something. And we get another referral. And I think with this referral, we are going, no, we are going with the green up here. Because with the next referral, we can complete this and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. <laughs> Really hope I'm messing, th not messing things up here. Um, yeah, if so, I will leave a note. At least I try. Okay, three, three somethings, and these three something can't be brown and they can't be um, no, pink because we have rolled those. But three isn't bad. With three, there must be something we can do, right? Yeah, we could go for this one here, or we could simply say no. I. Ah, no, we can't be brown. Mm, brown would have been great. But we are not so far from green either, right? So, uh, from yellow either. So let's do that. Or pink. I mean, we can go score for four points here. This is also not bad, actually. Let's go for the three green then for the question mark. So we're getting this. And we're getting another referral, right? Because we have, yeah, that's perfect. So we do this. This gives us another green. Awesome. So we have the three points here. And we get another referral from that exactly because it was exactly enough. And I think with the last referral, do we have something left over somewhere? No, but I still think we should go for this one here for our referral. Let's do that. It's much easier getting three symbols than four, of course. Oof, pretty thinky game if you also talk through your turns, actually. So let's see. What do we have? Mm, that isn't great either. I think for two green or two pink, I will go on the strike meter. Either we get the referral for this, that's another point, and we are not losing so many points. And then, um, yeah, it simply makes sense. I think it really does make sense in this case. And maybe uh, we're not rolling four. <laughs> The same, but we are now rolling extremely well also for green and we can no longer use green, then green will totally go on the strike meter here. But okay, let's see about that. Next card, okay, to blue. Blue, ah, we needed brown. Yeah, that wasn't great either. Mm, that wasn't beautiful, not at all. No browns whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This is tough. I mean, we need these down here. How do we get them? Is there something else we can get? Should we maybe really try to complete another sector? But oof. 
we will have two maybe by the end of the game. I think that that is, is our minimum goal for sure. Or we simply say we were taking two more here. So this gives us five points at the end of the game because we have right now still enough income, right? Enough dollars generated. So let's reveal the next card. Still no brown symbols. Where are they all gone? It seems so. Okay, we have three blue, one brown. We should we go with the one brown just to complete it? And we need another blue, but we also need another blue for this. I think these four points, no, we will go for the three blue for sure. And I think here we have seven, 11. I think we have more over here. So we will go this way, one, two, and three. So with the referral, we could gain something out of this. So I think this was still okay. And again, we want this column here, which would be another five points, right? Nothing to sneeze at. Okay, this is already the end of the game. <laughs> I didn't see that. But the good thing is, oh, okay, we have the three brown symbols for sure. That's definitely something. Um, but yeah, that's it. Oh, this is so frustrating. If, okay, mm, if we don't roll any brown on those, we get the referral we need for this, which is another dollar, but doesn't, no, I think it doesn't help us. And we have another brown symbol. So I think we need to go for brown. That much is clear. So we're doing one two and three again this gives us a dollar we are not getting a referral bonus unfortunately we are doing this but at least we have completed yes this one down here which is another six points so i'm relatively certain we are not making it somewhere and that's basically the end of the game so we are tallying up our score so we have three points here we have three points here so we have six points that's not too terrible we're doing a final payout i think we have ten and we have five here, so four, nine, 12 points for this, also not too terrible. Here we have seven, 13 points, I think so. Um, and we are losing, I believe, four points here, minus four in total. And I will absolutely do the <laughs> arithmetic now off camera. And if my math proved me right here, I was able to score 27 points. I already did subtract the minus four. So let's do it again. 12 plus six is 18 plus three is 21 plus 10 is 31 minus four is 27. I think it is accurate. So let's see how well we did it. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, what an embarrassment. Yeah, we are still the Apprentice Newsboys. I think we could have made it into the second one if I would have paid attention to the column scoring here as well. At least for the first one, I think this was a two instead, or I think it was a three. Um, This would have been two points more. That would have been the 29. So, mm, but overall, I think I didn't do particularly well here. But yeah, I mean, that's maybe a good thing. And now for me, somewhat of an incentive playing this again against the solo mode. So to say, at least I want to come up somewhere in this area here, promising or senior news boy. But ultimately, that's how you play new news boys using the official solo mode which comes with the game and again in a multiplayer mode i really do enjoy this and i like this one too actually the only kind of thing again yeah i mean for me it's kind of a loss right I'm, I'm i'm in the last stage here i'm close but still i'm the last stage so i would really consider this a loss or a defeat for me you know you get the idea but from a mechanics perspective it's really a fun little game and yeah keep in mind you can win a copy or basically this copy of the game it will be really this copy and one definitely one of the ones i'm a little bit sad seeing it go but yeah, i made my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, decisions it, uh, at the end of the day. So if you again, if you are a supporter of either through Patreon or on, on YouTube as a, as a channel member, you can win this copy of the game. You will already have received all the information you need. And yeah, with that being said, I really hope to see you soon um, in one of my other videos. Let's see if I can do squeeze in another playthrough video before the actual Christmas holidays. Let's see how things go. Busy days, but I'm cautiously optimistic. And if we don't hear from each other, wish you some very nice holidays wherever you are. If you are celebrating Christmas or not, you will still hopefully find some time off to whatever celebrate and spend time with good friends or your family. And yeah, with that being said, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye.